I'm keeping my fingers crossed that, that uh, they kept their legs crossed. Do what my babies are doing and have some supper. Oh. I've been working on a few St. Patrick's Day things. They are so cute today. So cute. Friday everyone. I didn't do a lot of vlogging today. I have been just on a mission. I came out here bright and early this morning and uh, sure enough that lamb did not make the night so mama is at least she's doing a little bit better. I gave her some penicillin this morning. She has retained placenta and she's still really weak on that back end. She's got a pinched nerve I'm pretty sure. Her back right leg seems to have a pinched nerve. I had one in the last lambing group and it took about four or five days and she recovered so i'm praying that this one will too she is eating really well she's drinking uh, i'll probably still give her a little bit of glycol today but um she just needs help getting up and then she'll stand up for probably probably about a half an hour to an hour and then she'll lay back down so at least i've saved mama for the time being the question is you know will she fully will that pinch nerve kind of fully recover and will she be successful in lambing going forward? I'm not sure. Uh, so fingers crossed for her. I'm really sad I lost those triplets. When I found that lamb, um, it had a ton of like really thick mucus that had come out overnight. Uh, so then I'm like, you know what, maybe even though I had it in the recovery position, I am wondering because they were a little bit early coming out because I had to induce her if just there was something going on and, and they just couldn't get rid of that fluid on their lungs, on her lungs. My friend Sophie from New Zealand actually forwarded me an Insta story from a fabulous sheep farmer in the UK. Uh, she goes by Red Shepherdess and if you don't know who she is, you need to check her out. She has a fabulous Instagram account and she also just wrote a book. She recommended this uh, resuscitator and I found it Resuscitator? Is that what it's called? Resuscitator. I found it actually online uh, at a place in Canada. So that was exciting. So I ordered that this morning in time for my lambing group. So I'm hoping that I'm going to learn something from this and it's not a complete waste. Uh, but I do want to show you what I've been up to today. I haven't been doing nothing. I have been so busy in fact that they're just getting fed and it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. If you follow the tracks you can see what I was up to. My rams did not shrink. I actually took the time today to clean this whole pen out. It took all day. It was so thick. It was probably even thicker. It was up to the, the bottom of the blue bar there. So anyways, my boys are happy and clean. So we only have this one pen left to do. I'm hoping to get this done early next week. The whole barn will be cleaned out for spring, which is nice. And I should have one more week of reprieve, as long as there's no more prison break babies, which there, there's a few udders, but um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that, that uh, they kept their legs crossed and we won't have any more surprises. The ones that are here are healthy and happy and so cute. And if you saw my last video, um, I've quite fallen in love with the little patchy eyed one. Anyway, I call them Miles, so Miles is doing quite well.
I've been reading your comments and someone just commented, uh, have I changed the feeding schedule for these ewes? If you follow me on Insta stories, I talk, I'm, I'm on it every day. So I always kind of forget what I've talked about there and what I've talked about here. So yes, I started feeding at 11 a.m. Uh, not this week, but last week. So it's been two, almost two full weeks of that schedule. Today was a little bit later just because I didn't have any idea the clean out was gonna take me almost all day to do. So we will see last, uh, the last lambing group we started 10 to 10.30 and I still was met with lambs at 4 a.m. So I'm really hoping that I can get out here at four and have them lambing a little bit after that. And then I'm here. Uh, that's kind of the goal. Mommy, you're back down again. She was eating. She looks a lot better. She looks brighter today. It's just that pinched nerve. All right, it's supper time, so I think I'm going to do what my babies are doing and have some supper. morning guys it's Monday and no babies today but we did have a baby yesterday so uh, it's our first single she was marked for two I think uh, but she just had one giant lamb hello you're a big lamb two became one hey right? oh, baby <laughs> nothing doing this mama has been doing much better but she's been still dealing with retained placenta so I will have to get her up I've treated her I think this would be day four and it's a five-day treatment if it doesn't drop so I'm hoping once I get her up that it's gone we are in for some warmer weather this week and this morning it's still cold enough that I can grab a bunch of bales and stockpile them hay bales stockpile them across the road so I want to do that while it's frozen because other than that it's gonna be it is gonna be a mud bath I'll feed you guys first I do have to feed some bottles first uh, so yeah I'm gonna do that first thing and then I'm thinking about perhaps because I don't feed till later in the morning I'm thinking perhaps I should clean that last side out Mark um, cleaned a spot on the pad for me so I do have room now and I would like to get this last pen done before uh, before spring here and we get too busy. So I might do that still yet today. <laughs> lambs are drinking less and less every day I only got a half a bottle between three lambs now so this lamb this number two gets it drinks the most and then that number three lamb kind of right beside it it gets a little and this number three lamb gets a little so it'd be nice to be able to leave them with mom uh, so I'll just keep offering a bottle and hopefully every day as I get them closer to eating some creep feed um, I can just supplement enough that it'll hold them through and she can she can do the rest of the work 
because really it doesn't take me long just to top them up a little bit because we're down to about uh, two bottles a day for those guys not even between them all so that's exciting you guys are good milkers Okay, so for all you guys that watched the sheep game about a month ago or so, um, Cammy had <laughs> challenged me to like a bale unwrapping and uh, I declined. <laughs> I would lose, number one, because he's like as fit as a fiddle and I'm falling apart as a mid 40 year old. Uh, but, but even besides that, my bales are, have been under snow for like eight weeks. And uh, not only that, they're just, they're wrapped differently. Mine are in a tube, his are like individually wrapped, his are round, mine are square. All the thing, all the excuses, but my biggest excuse is I'm just like physically, I physically would lose. So I'm just conceding. I'm like waving the white flag even before we begin. You've seen this before. I'm gonna, this is my bale that I always put, it's my sacrificial bale. So I always put it on the outside to keep the face fresh of the, of the bales that I'm taking out. So I'm just gonna get him out of the way. I'm gonna take four or five probably out of this pile today and take them across the road, put them in the lean-to, just so they stay, so I can have bales available and not have to go in here, because this is gonna be melted and muddy, and it's our hay field, and I just don't wanna ruin any more than I have to.
bottle time again, second one of the day. This is, it's been a long day. Hi, Miles. Okay. Come on. Oh. You're hungry today. That uh, that went down fast, so I'm gonna make more. Oh no, no, no. These triplets are getting fed quite well, so they only drink 100 mil, 150 mil. Where's your brother, sister? Come on, buddy. What then? So yeah, maybe a hundred mils, not even. You guys done? Okay. Ooh. It has been a productive day, which is good. So this whole barn is clean now, which I'm so happy about. I sometimes get feeling a little claustrophobic when the manure is really deep. I'm always, I don't know, I'm feeling like they're gonna break gates. Sometimes the gates are hard to open and close and latch. So they are loving it. They've ate, drank, and they're just laying down, and it's beautiful outside. The curtains are all open. It's feeling like spring, because I've obviously popped my top. So now I think for the first time since before Christmas, we're gonna go and see Mark's mom. We haven't seen them, I think, since November, so pretty excited, so that'll be good. And then I'll be back to do a night feeding. gonna say it's not nothing poor about it. Coming together. Trying. We're just warming up a bottle uh, the night the night feeding. They probably won't drink too much. I've only been really feeding them maybe twice a day, maybe three times a day, and very little every time. So I mix I typically, uh, because I had mixed a full bottle earlier this afternoon, they didn't drink at all. I'm just running some hot water and uh, I save the bottle and I'm just heating it. Some pretty exciting stuff actually just came into my inbox. Dogs, are you in or out? And uh, I've been working on a few St. Patrick's Day things for you guys. I've got a dark green hoodie coming. Um, we're getting out of hoodie season here, but I'm sure other places in the world are probably moving into hoodie season. So they are, uh, they are going to be up on the website this week, probably tomorrow. Today is Monday. I'll likely make everything active tomorrow, which means you guys might not see this till Wednesday. I also designed, I'm pretty excited about this one. I designed a t-shirt. Everybody wants t-shirts now that we're getting into warmer weather, especially in the U.S. We're hoping we're on your coattails very soon. I didn't design, but I came up with the design of making a four-leaf clover, which I realize isn't the actual shamrock. I made a four-leaf clover uh, all out of my little logos. So they're all different sizes, and you guys can check that out. And why I did that, why I did the four-leaf clover instead of just the typical three-leaf shamrock, an organization very near and dear to my heart. I was, I, I grew up in it. I was a leader for 13 years is 4-H. So I'm like, 
from afar, it's like, oh, that just looks like, it looks like a 4-H t-shirt. So pretty excited about that t-shirt. And then the thing that I have figured out about my sore shoulder is that I am not maybe set out to do crafting. <laughs> and I made a whole bunch of more wool ornaments for you guys. Um, and I based them off of goat. I usually try to do a wool ball um, based on a character that you guys really love. And uh, I kept, her video keeps, I saved the video of when she got the pail on her head from shearing. What, what are you thinking, goat? Goat, who turned out the lights? What are you saying, honey? Just put your head down and it'll fall right off. Hello. <laughs> Go. Oh, poor girl. I'll get ya. And I always look at it and I'm like, oh God, she's like a little leprechaun. Like stuff is always happening to her and she's always getting into trouble. And then I'm like, I'm gonna save that for St. Patty's Day and I'm gonna try to figure out something that will go with her. So they turned out really cute. I hope you guys like them. So they will be on the website. Yeah, I'm gonna make that all live tomorrow being Tuesday, just so there's enough time to, um, enough time to get it before St. Patrick's Day, hopefully. Uh, so a lot of my time, a lot of my early mornings have always been dedicated for uh, working on editing videos. And now I'm balancing editing, editing videos, going through emails and trying to come up with new concepts for the store. I really have to figure out a good flow for everything and uh, kind of hit the wall on the weekend. I was really overwhelmed with just, I get so overwhelmed and then I just don't even know what to do and how to function, but I feel better today and uh, very excited that these things are coming to you guys. Happy St. Patty's Day next week. Um, and yes, enjoy the greens things that I have on the website for you guys. Okay, this bottle is probably warm. <laughs> they are so cute today. So cute. Okay, I wanted to show you guys, my mama is doing so much better. She's been up and down all day on her own, and she fully discharged, so she has no more retained placenta. She's peeing. She's been drinking water, eating feed. Very happy. So I'll tag them in the morning and let them out. I'll make this area a little bit bigger. I'll tag, um, I will do all the record keeping for her and just say what happened to her lambs and that she had a pinched nerve. And then I'll probably let her just stay with these guys, get her fed up a little better. These guys are going to be getting some good feed and just let her get feeling better and get this leg feeling better. Okay, we'll feed you now. Okay, you guys, I'm going to finish this up and call it a night. And you guys have a good rest of your day. We will talk to you again.